Well, I figured we could do some leaf blowing today, and we'd start up a different giant vac this week. This is an eight horse that it Briggs, which I've used maybe one time in three years. So I was just joking with a friend yesterday about how reliable Briggs are and how you don't have to worry that, you know, there's no points and they're all electronic and it's not like an old Kohler where if you haven't used it for three years, you can pretty much guarantee that you got to clean the points and a whole bunch of rigmarole before you even get started. So I'm hoping that this Briggs here just fire right off even though we haven't used it. So stay tuned. Check it out. This is what a giant vac leaf blower looks like that's been sitting in a tank garage for three years. Disgusting. Look at how dirty it is. I don't even want to use it, it's so dirty. I'm going to spray some engine degreaser on it and hose it off. See what it does. Now we're going to spray it down with this crap and uh, see what happens. It says here, quickly removes grease from tractor engines, perfect. All right, let's see what this does. All right, it's been sitting five minutes. We'll squirt it off and see what happens. I guess it's cleaner than it was. Cool. All right, well, it cleaned up pretty good, believe it or not. I just took my hand and wiped it on there and most of the nastiness came off. Um, if I did it again, it'd probably look a bunch better, but I want to blow leaves. I don't want to wash stuff. So check the oil and see if we get a one pulse star on this one. All right, let's see if this one will be a, a one pull start or not. Put the choke on. Now I just washed it off so it's all wet. Hopefully I didn't get water into the carb or something, but this has a, a tough location to pull from. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> well, it won't start and I figured I'd pull the plug out and this thing is nasty. I don't know if you can see how nasty it is, but I'll clean it up and try it again. All right, well, looks good now. Let's give it a shot, see what happens. Well, got no spark on this giant vac here. This is an eight horse. This is what the newest one I have, I think. I think I bought this engine brand new from Northern Tool and uh, replaced the engine that was on here. I think the original one was a 72. I'm looking at the blower housing here. This one's a 1997. And I honestly have never done a thing to this engine the whole time I've had it. Not one thing. I've never changed the air filter. Never changed the oil. I just put gas in it, make sure the oil's full, and it's always started. First pull, second pull, something like that, this whole time. So 24 years later. And uh, so no spark. I just took the blower housing off. Let's see what might be causing this. Hey, what do you know? Fluffy's back, huh? So let's get that junk out of there. It absolutely stinks, by the way. So I'm going to actually take the backpack blower and blow it out with the backpack blower. And I have a feeling that a wire's chewed in there somewhere. But let's see. All right, guys, I blew it out. And uh, yeah, Fluffy, you suck. That's all I'm going to say, man. I don't want to touch that gross wire after that freaking mouse chewed it. But yeah, she's toast, huh? coil is toast huh i think i got a couple parts eight horse briggs sitting around somewhere so before i buy a china coil i'm gonna just go run over to the barn where they are and see if i can grab a coil off one of them and uh i'd rather put a good oem coil on it than go buy a china coil and the issue i've had with some of the newer coils that are the new style is that the air vein on there doesn't seem to work as good as it does with the factory coil. I'll show you what I mean. See this part here, how it goes onto that little rivet on the coil? Some of the new ones don't have that rivet there, and it just makes it harder to deal with. So 
see what we can find. All right, I got two parts Briggs down here, both eight horse. That green one's off a generator. Um, the red one, I don't know what the heck it's off of, but maybe we'll see if we can get it off the greenie. Well, first of all, I was hoping that the engine's new enough that it has an electronic ignition coil, and I think these ones with the switch on the top were from the 90s. It also has some kind of oil guard, so I'm gonna guess that this is a new engine. Oh, and it says magnetron on here. That's a tip off. So let me let me take off this blower housing and we'll see if we can harvest this coil. All right, blower housing's off and they have a nice looking wire here. Has that same air vein that we do on the other one. So let me take off these two screws that hold the coil on. I think we'll be back in business. Okay, we got the new coil in there and gap to 20 and not a very good connection on the spark tester, but I'm just going to put the blower housing on there without the screws for now. Just kind of hold it on loosely and give it a little yank and we'll see if we got any sparkages out of this thing, you know? All right, you know that spark never shows up well on film, but let's see what we got here. I guess it has spark. <laughs> I didn't think it was actually going to start up. Okay, it works. Good news. All right, so I took the boot off the old wire because the new wire didn't have a boot on it. And um, it's a little loose. I don't like that. I'm going to grab the thing and just close it with some pliers. I just doused it with WD-40 so I could slide it over the metal. And it worked really good. So... Let's fix, let's just tighten that thing up with some pliers a little bit. And, uh, you know, I'll just grab it and give it a little squeeze. We'll drop it on and see if it will fire up now. All right, let's see what happens now. Good.